Peter Talking FC there, and welcome back here to the channel, guys. It is time to get down to La Liga action. The games right now, they are coming very, very frequently. It's Barcelona against Levante, live from the camp now. Another game here under Kike Setien that will be full of learning, full of development, and hopefully once again, we can see some clear improvement. It's all coming up. The match preview for you guys. Let's get into it. Kickoff will be coming to us at 9 p.m. local time, live from the camp now on Sunday evening. Will be the final game there of the La Liga weekend. And here, guys, are the times right around the world, so you can get involved in this one. And certainly, we'll be hoping for something good. And elsewhere in La Liga this weekend, of course, the Madrid derby has taken place here on Saturday. And for Barcelona, not exactly great news, because Real Madrid, once again, they've not exactly breezed past Atletico. It's yet another 1-0 win from Real. And it's been a big change under them from Zinedine Zidane. They're a lot, lot tighter at the back now. They keep more clean sheets. Quite clearly, they're not capable of scoring as many goals. But that win there does see them extend their gap at the top of La Liga. And that's why it means pressure on Barcelona. Atletico Madrid right now are in fifth place. That's a real worry for them there, outside the Champions League places as it stands. But Real there at the top. They played a game more, of course, now, but they're on 49 points. Barcelona, after our slip at Mestalla, we're on 43. And going into this game, we've got to win. That's how it is when you're chasing teams down. Real have been keeping the pressure on us. Now they've had their chance to go ahead. And we need now to try and hit back, try and put as much pressure pressure on them as we possibly can and this game here at home to Levante you would expect Barcelona to win it and hopefully win it well. And when you look there at our opponents Levante, they're currently in 13th place in La Liga. Pretty comfortable right now in mid-table after a pretty good season so far by their standards. And to be fair, Levante here coming to the camp now is yet another team who will arrive having already gained a very, very good result against us in the reverse fixture earlier on this season. Because you only got to cast your minds back there to November to recall the absolute horror show that we saw away at Levante, whereby we took the lead on the date through a Lionel Messi penalty. Pretty dodgy penalty it was that was given for Barcelona, but we were taking that. But in the second half, we conceded three goals to Levante. And that was such a bad game for us once again away from home. And for me, when you look in there at their team, I think Jose Campagna, he's a really, really good player. He stood out there when they beat us in November. He had a goal and assist on the day from midfield. And I think he's somebody there who, once again, we should keep an eye on. He's a very, very good player. He can make things happen. And at the camp now, we do need to watch out and be aware of the threat Levante pose. However, we have to also be fair here and say that, look, despite Despite winning against us there, Levante, they're not exactly going to be arriving at the camp now full of confidence for two different reasons. They may have come into this game with a full week's rest. We played, of course, on Thursday, so we had significantly less time to recover. But Levante have lost four of their last five games in all competitions. And their only win in those five games came against Jane, who are in the Spanish fourth tier. And even they took Levante to penalties. So quite clearly now, their confidence is not exactly high. And when you look at their record against us at the camp now, it's unbelievably in our favour. Barcelona have faced Levante 14 times in all competitions since 2004 and on every single occasion. And I mean every single one we've won. I mean, that is outrageous. There's been some big wins in there as well. I remember Tata Martino's first game as the Barcelona coach. That was a 7-0 victory on the opening day against Levante. Last season at the Camp Nou wasn't exactly a big win, just a single goal in it, but certainly here we will expect to win and under Setien, hopefully again we can see a good performance. And speaking of the man himself, we will now move on to Kike Setien. He was certainly in good spirits once again this afternoon when he faced the media in Barcelona. And he was asked straight away about not signing anybody and, of course, about the fact that Moussa Wage now has joined Nice on loan. He left there on deadline day. And that deal there will see Moussa Wage remain at Nice until the end of the current season. When that time does come then in the summer transfer window, they do then have a buy option of 10 million euros plus 500,000 in variables to make that move permanent and if Wagge does go to Nice permanently Barcelona only in 2021 have the option there to buy him back 
for 15 million euros. Also, of course, Todibo is gone, Alenia is gone, Carlos Perez is gone, and suddenly now you look at that Barcelona squad, and this morning, Arturo Vidal didn't train, Dembele isn't going to be back for this game, and suddenly then you're thinking, Setien here has a real job on his hands. We are light right now, we are struggling, if we have injuries, if we have suspensions, we are going to be under pressure, but Setien said, I trust the group that we have, I've got confidence here in these players, and he also said, the B team players are ready, Ricky Pooch, Alex Collado, those kind of players are going to get their opportunity. And he did say about Dembele, he seems absolutely hyped for the return of Dembele. He said we'll already have an unbelievable signing. Dembele is close to his return. And he said every time I watch him train, it fills me there with excitement. And I think there, Setien, with Dembele, it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant match. But he's not going to be quite back in time for this one. And I do have to move on here to the formation that we could see from Kike Setien this coming Sunday because of course against Leganes we saw him revert there to a 4-3-3 as opposed to the 3-5-2 that we've seen so far at Barcelona and I just want to compare here the differences between the two and why I think 4-3-3 may benefit us against these kind of teams here because you look at it here they're both going to be very low block Granada sat very very deep and Leganes did exactly the same thing at the camp now and I'm sure Levante are going to sit deep too but I just want to look here at the difference between Griezmann starting on the left and Griezmann starting centrally there and being closer to Lionel Messi because you can quite clearly see there against Leganes it was Ansu Fati who was very much wide on that left hand side as opposed to against Granada when he was on the right and you can see Griezmann there who's quite central but he's very very deep and I think certainly against Leganes what we saw was more of a combination between Messi and Griezmann and I think that's really really crucial and we should do whatever we have to do to try and get that combination going because without Suarez without Dembele right now you need Messi there to be able to link up with somebody in that front three and I think there with Griezmann those two together can cause serious problems you can also create space for each other if Griezmann makes the run central Messi can drop off if Messi goes in behind Griezmann can drop off and they've got to understand really how to work best with each other I think against Laganes we started to see the signs again with them getting closer to each other it was certainly better and more effective in the final third for Barcelona and it'll be interesting to see exactly what Setien goes with tomorrow. But if we now move on to the starting lineup that we may well see from Kike Setien, and it's going to be interesting because obviously we do have, like I say, injury concerns, fitness concerns. We're not exactly blessed with options right now, but I think Setien, based on what we saw against Leganes, the good display that we saw, it'll be something like this. Ter Stegen in goal, Jordi Alba at left back. I think Longley and Gerard Pique will probably start at centre back again, but you could easily see Sam Willem Titty there replacing Longley, but at the same time, they played very, very well on Thursday, so I wouldn't really change that, and I wouldn't change Semedo either. He played very well on Thursday too against Leganes, and I'd play him there on the right-hand side. You've got Busquets in midfield, Frank de Jong, of course, and if Arturo Vidal is fit, I'm really, really hoping that he will be. I think you should play there in that midfield trio. We need somebody there to give us that extra dimension, somebody there to make those runs, to be unpredictable, to force some errors from our opposition. Ansu from the left, his favoured side, Antoine Griezmann, and Lee or Messi, but of course, you could easily see here, Arthur Mello introduced into midfield if Vidal isn't fit, I'm no doubt at all, we're going to see Arthur, of course, who scored against Leganes, but it is going to be something like that. Tomorrow, of course, we'll get the squad list, we'll see exactly who's available for the game, but right now, that's my thoughts. What would you line up with? What are you expecting from Setien in this game? Let me know down below. And once again here guys in the early days of Kike Senti, I'm not going to be jumping into a score prediction just yet, but of course we would plan we would expect here to win this game against Levante at home. It's a nice game for us just like the Leganes one was and hopefully again it should build some serious confidence and when you look there at your thoughts I asked you there how many goals would you expect to see tomorrow against Levante and many of you said look we're going to be focusing again on that performance, hopefully the goals come with it. Half of you believing there that we're going to see three, a lot of people also may be expecting four plus. I think we could certainly see quite a few goals here. Another clean sheet would be absolutely brilliant too, but hopefully again, we can just see that improvement. The core values from the players that we want to see every single week, that pressing, the intensity, and hopefully once again, if we score two, if we score three, we keep on coming. We keep going there for more and more and more with that relentless nature that no doubt Setien expects to see in his teams. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What do you think will happen tomorrow? What are you expecting? I will see you tomorrow, of course, for the match review. But until next time, 
As always, Viscar El Barça. Oh, 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 oh.